Yo, what's up? Eram Sports in the building. Yeah, All Star Weekend. A lot of stuff popping off, happening. You had、uh, LeBron James, MVP of the All Star Game 148, Team LeBron to 145, Team Steph. And I got to say, 29, 10, and 8.、Um, I think the closest to him, like 21 points from a couple of cats. But basically, LeBron was the star of stars. He was the star of the game, the MVP, and definitely in the battle with、uh, Fox News clown Laura Ingram. No, he's not going to shut up and dribble. Everybody's got an opinion on a racist president, and nothing's wrong with you being an athlete and speaking up. Back in the days, we used to rip Jordan for not talking. And、just being about the money. So to me, it's hypocritical for people to just tell athletes now to be quiet when it changed our country. I mean, Jesse Owens, you're talking about Bill Russell, Jackie Robinson, Kareem, Muhammad Ali. Have you guys forgotten? All you so called people that loved Muhammad Ali that you really didn't because you didn't like him back then, crying at his funeral. So anyway. Good game. Kyrie had some moves. Russ, I like the, the competitive nature. So, next year, when they show the draft, that's going to be off the chain. But Team LeBron got it done. And LeBron, even when Westbrook and Kyrie were on the court, LeBron was playing the point guard, basically. It was interesting to see.、Um, he made a little, couple of slick little statements about LA to make you think that maybe he'll come play for the Lakers or Clippers. And then the NBA today, 5.1 rating, same as last year.、Eh, not so great, not so bad. But then he was talking about they want to do the playoff format, 1 through 16. It's not good because what if you get the Spurs and Rockets in the finals? I don't think people really want to see that. Plus, you're talking about the travel. You know, in the first round, if the Sixers got to go to Minnesota and then,、uh, I don't know, the Pistons or whoever are going to. The Pelicans or the Pistons are going to the Warriors. It's just too much. I, I don't think for the format of the playoffs it'll really work out. And then you'll have like baseball with interleague play all the time. Yeah, sorry for all the noise. My kids turn down that game playing a game. They, they're addicted to Lego Marvel Super Hero 2. Black Panther, I didn't get to see it yet. I'm going to see it next weekend. Take my son. We saw Peter Rabbit with the little kids. And,、um, but I'll tell you this. Um, it was not cool what happened in Chicago with the Blackhawks, the racist fans talking to, what is it, Devontae Smith Pele? Oh, go play basketball. Come on. And Laura Ingram, you know, it's like people get all out of bounds, right? With Peter Rabbit talking about allergies, but yet we can't call a spade a spade when someone like Laura Ingram from Fox News wants to stand up and defend Donald Trump because LeBron and Durant were speaking the truth. I mean, come on. It's racist. Maybe she wanted more Twitter followers, but let's, let's not kid ourselves. Let's not lie to ourselves. Let's keep it 100. Keep it real, folks. All right? But Black Panther's soundtrack is off the hook. Props to SZA and Kendrick Lamar and you know, all those folks. I love it. Can't wait to see the movie. Set records 202 million. Fifth biggest opening all time. Second biggest for Marvel behind Avengers. That's gangster. Black director, majority black cast. Big ups, big ups. I heard Chadwick did his thing. So did Michael B. Jordan. I, I can't wait. But Devin Booker, Phoenix out here. I ain't got the, the three point. Show some love. Show some love for Harlem. Harlem, Harlem. But、um, yeah, Devin Booker did his thing. Spencer Dinwiddie from Brooklyn Nets got the skills. And then、uh, the dunk. Yeah, first I picked Donovan Mitchell. Then I thought Dennis Smith Jr. would do it, but Donovan Mitchell got it done. But I, that tap dunk by your boy,、um, Larry Nance Jr., what? Like his daddy. He was doing like, dirty like his daddy. It was great. It was really good. So it was, it was a great weekend. I think the NBA overall should be happy. Fergie was straight trash on the national anthem. I don't know what that was. The halftime show, Migos, Nerd, Pharrell. No, it, no, no, no. It was corny. I'm sorry. I, Yeah, I love good music and good hip hop, good RB, good pop, just good lyrics, whatever. That, that, it, was, it was trash. And I love Pharrell Williams. Not good. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it real with you. All right. And、um, telling the truth is not hating. We need more truth in this world. 
So I think going to the third quarter of the season is like a quarter left, 25 games, uh, basically. Look for Cleveland to make a run. I think Toronto's overrated. You saw with DeRozan, where well, he dropped 21, but he couldn't get it done at the end of the game. I think uh, LeBron and the Cavs will, will handle their business. But watch the Rockets, man, against the Warriors, because Joe Johnson and Brandon Wright, they're going to be a big effect. But you saw you, you, James Harden, he wasn't a star of stars. It was all about LeBron, just kind of flexing, letting everybody know, I'm still the Don Gaga, and I'm the HNIC. I'm Joe Clark up in this pace, LeBron James. He did his thing, man. Props to him. And, uh, yeah, it was good. So college hoops. It's UVA, Michigan State, Villanova, Xavier, Duke. Uh, my Tar Heels are 10. Hope Maryland, I think they're 18 and 11, can make the tournament. And um, Oklahoma, Kansas tonight. Let's see what happens. Oklahoma needs a big win. And Texas Tech, they're looking like, you know, them and Gonzaga tied for six. They're gonna, Texas Tech looking like they're going to maybe, if they could win the Big 12 title and beat Kansas regular season and a tournament, that they would get a number one seed over Xavier. I don't think two Big East teams will get it. And I don't think Duke deserves it. They'll, they'll be a top on a two line. So the two line will be. So I think basically for college hoops, you're going to see Virginia, Michigan State, Villanova, and Texas Tech. Then you'll have Duke, Kansas, Gonzaga, and Purdue. The two line. March Madness, are you ready? Get your, bra get your brackets ready. Even my eight-year-old William Truce going to do a bracket this year. It's, oh, I can't wait. It's going to be dope. I mean, they all, all the kids do brackets, but he's ready to step up and do a bracket for some dough. Re, mi, fa, so, lo, do, ti. So, yeah, I'm in, I'm out. Eram Sports, straight poetry. Black Panther, got you hyped up and ready. Don't you want to stand? It's time to rock steady. Betty, bye. Nah. No Betty Boo, what I'm going to do is bring the truth to you. The kings in Africa, they just run the land. Ancient Kemet, we taught you everything, man. The Greeks learned, and so did the Romans, too. They were taught agriculture and science. So what about you? Do you know your facts and your history, B? That African civilization was royalty in the beginning of all mankind, and we're all related, so don't fall behind. Clean your mind. Wake up and know that Africa is the homeland of humanity, bro. Peace. Eram Sports. I'm out. Poetry. Yaman. Yeah,